Hello, once again. Didn't I just see you 30 minutes ago? <laughs> Wasn't I just here 30 minutes ago? <laughs> but here is your jubilant Saturday, September the 9th, 2023, episode 1096, part 2B. And then that one 30 minutes ago was part 2A. And that was your beautiful Fast Friday, September the 8th video. So. I forgot to, I forgot to say that in the video. So that first one was your Friday video, and, this, and then this one is your Saturday video. And, and then the one this morning at seven thirty and eight, seven thirty was Friday, eight was Saturday. So that's the regular time. Eight was the regular time. So so in this one, we're gonna be accepting guidance from Jennifer Benson Schilt. S C H U L D T. I don't know. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that that word, but I just say Schilt. That's the best way I know. But this is going to be derived from James three one through eleven. So if you're excited about this one, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, share the video and channel with your family and friends, and help me re uh, gain more subscribers. And the more likes. On the video, we'll help the video reach other people. Birthdays, anniversaries, and prayer requests for your Saturday in the comment section below. And let's see how we should be accept how we can be accepting guidance or how we should be accepting guidance. Jennifer writes, The air smelled of leather and oats as we stood in the barn where my friend Michelle was teaching my daughter to ride a horse. Michelle's white pony opened its mouth as she demonstrated how to place the bit behind its teeth. As she pulled the bridle over its ears, Michelle explained that the bit was important because it allows the rider to slow the horse and steer it to the left or the right. A horse's bit, like the human tongue, is small but important. Both have great influence over something big and powerful. For the bit, it is the horse. For the tongue, it's our words. James 3, 3 and 5. Our words can run in different directions. With the tongue, we praise our Lord and Father. And with it, we curse human beings. Verse 9. So unfortunately, the Bible warns that it's very hard to control our speech because words spring from our hearts, Luke 6, 45. Thankfully, God's Spirit, who indwells every believer, helps us grow in patience, goodness, and self-control or temperance. And there's two different ways of saying self, self-control or temperance. There's two ways of saying it. Galatians 5, 22 and 23, which is the fruit of the Spirit. Passage. So as we cooperate with the Spirit, our hearts change, and so do our words. Profanity turns to praise. Lying gives way to the truth. Criticism transforms into encouragement. So taming the tongue isn't just about training ourselves to say the right things. It's about accepting the Holy Spirit's guidance so that our words generate the kindness and encouragement our world needs. Amen? So question number one for this one is what inner attitudes come out through your word? And number two, how might cooperation with the spirit influence your speech? Let me know in the comments by putting Q1 or Q2, whichever one in your answer, and it doesn't necessarily have to be an answer of your own. Somebody else could be, be by when you read that question trying to figure out a a response and can help them help they can they can you can use partially what they can thing and put it in your own words but ponder those questions by saying this phrase dear god please change my heart so that my words encourage others and honor you so so your scripture reading for this one for your Saturday 
is Proverbs chapter 6 and 7 and 2 Corinthians chapter 2. So, and those are the questions, the phrase, and the Bible verses will be in the description box below for you to, so you could see them. Like I said in the other video, I cannot put, put the first, put the things like I normally do because of the system I'm on right now. So coming up tomorrow in your glorious Lord's Day Sunday, September the 10th, 2023, part two of episode 1097, we're going to have the promise fulfilled. From Cindy Hess Casper derived from Luke 1, 26 through 38. So with that said, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God. And he'll keep you safe in all you say and do in 2023 and beyond. And until later, peace out, everybody. So long, farewell. Come back. Come back later after at 630. And we'll be talking about your Friday Turning Point episode 567 or no 566 and we'll be learning about neither high nor low Romans 12 3 is our beginning passage Ephesians 4 7 and 11 through 16 is our recommended reading our turning point is from William Gurnall G-U-R-N-A-L-L and our Bible reading for that one is Ezekiel 44 45 and 46 so that will be at 7.30 and then, or 6.30, excuse me. And then at 7, we'll be learning about part number three of the June, of the July weekend series that I didn't quite finish in July when I when I went on my hiatus. But part three of the New Testament Missionaries Weekend Series for the month of July, we're going to be talking about Philip. Beginning with Acts 8, 5 and 8, which we'll be reading in the recommended reading, Acts 4, or Acts 8, 4 through 8. The turning point is from Paul David Tripp, T-R-I-P-P. -P. And then I'm, we ain't going to worry about the um, Bible reading for that one, because we're already way out of the thing for it. So we're not going to worry about the Bible reading on that one. So. But that will be at 7 and 6.30 will be the Friday turning point. So stay tuned for those. I'll get to those in just a few minutes, but you'll see that later at 6.30. The Friday at 6.30 and your Saturday bonus video at 8. So it'll be probably number 11, bonus video number 11. So with that said, uh, God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023. And we'll see you later. <laughs> so until then, me and baby Yoda, we out until then. So have a great rest of your jubilant Saturday afternoon. And we'll see you later at 630 and then again at 7. So with that said, goodbye.